<laughs> Alright guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Alright, check it out. Today, we got a 2003 Jeep Liberty Sport with a 3.7. And what I'm going to show you how to do is replace the water pump. Alright? Enough of this talking. Let's get right to it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, girls, let's get this done. The first thing we're gonna do is get you a drain pan. Set it down in the middle of the vehicle. Push it up under the vehicle. Get it up under there. Push it up under there. And our water pump is located right there. So what you wanna do is make sure our pan is right below that. Instead of sitting here draining our uh, antifreeze from the radiator and all, we're gonna do it that way. Make sure we can see here because this, this sun is really in our way. All right, the first thing we're going to do is pay attention to how your belt is going, how your belt's going around the engine. Or you'll have a belt routine right there, routing right there. So that'll let you know. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is get you a 15 millimeter shallow socket with a 3 8 drive ratchet. Or you can use a deep also. And your tensioner, if, dang it man, I gotta make sure that I'm, that you guys can see this, cause this is sucks. All right, our tensioner is right there. And what you wanna do is put the, put the ratchet on like you're tightening. And what you wanna do is, watch this. Tighten up, like you're tightening. And notice how that loosened up right there? You're gonna loosen that up and then take the belt off of one of the pulleys. And I just put it up my finger over here and put it over, over the water pump. And then release it slowly, take it off. All right, that's number one. Now let's take, remove our belt, get our belt out of the way. Okay, that looking good. Got our belt out of the way. The next thing you wanna do is you got an idler pulley right here. That idler pulley has to get out the way too because there's a bolt behind there for the water pump. You take our same 15 millimeter and, and we're gonna put this ratchet on loosening. And you wanna take that bolt out of there. And you wanna take it, try to take it out along with the, uh, the pulley itself. go and be careful you see that spacer right there like washer or something make sure you still got that pull our pulley off and there it is and what you want to do is leave the bolt in there just like that so you can know how it goes back and you don't put it backwards so it's gonna actually gonna go like that bam let's put that down all right we're ready to get down here all right the next thing we're gonna do is we got the bolts on the water pump that we're going to take off and what I'm going to do is start my compressor up get me some air going and then we're going to get these bolts out and it, I believe that 13 millimeter let's see yeah that's 13 a little bit sloppy but it's good and let's see it comes out about this much uh, I guess the 13 deep may just clear that water pump or what I might do. Let's see here. Let's go back up here What I might do is get a 13 millimeter shallow With a four inch extension Yeah, see now it gave me the more clearance out here. So I got a four inch three eighths drive extension a uh, four inch 3 8 drive extension with a 13 millimeter shallow socket 3 8 drive also and that gives me the perfect clearance that I'm gonna do that now just get your ratchet or get your quarters gun and in my case I am going to get my air ratchet now I'm gonna start my compressor up we're gonna start taking out these bolts be right back all right we got enough air going in there now from the way it looks it looks like this pump has about eight bolts 
We got four on this side. Let's see here. One, two, three, and right up under the compressor right there, there's number four. And then starting from the other side, we go. Yeah, one, two, three, and then one right up under it, number four. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> How do you guys? How do you guys do remember that? <laughs> put, put that in the comment section if you know where that came from. We got one, two, two boats. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, let's stop playing around here. All right, let's get our first one up under there. One, two. Four right up under there. Four. Five. Six. Number seven is right there. Seven. And number eight is up under here somewhere. You know what? Let me see if I can feel for number eight. Okay, number eight is right there. All right, so we're gonna lose something number eight, and I'm gonna go ahead and take number eight right out. There's number eight. All right, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this to the side, and I know that's number eight. So as I'm taking the rest of them out, I wanna see if they're the same, same length. And what I'm gonna do is, now this is a, check this out, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna number them from one to eight, going all the way around. And what we're gonna do is take them out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, take them out. And then we're going to lay them down. <laughs> Took that bolt out and this thing started leaking. Alright, then what we're going to do is lay them down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That'd be cool. Just in case some of them are different sizes. Alright? So, let's get those bolts out and we'll be right back. Alright, I got my last three bolts out of here. This is number three. This is number two and one. Can you see that? Look at that. We got three bolts that's long. But if we start from the right of the water pump and walk our way around, we know exactly where our boat's gonna go. Now this water pump should be ready to come out. There it is. And we got our pan up under there. Getting it. Let's walk our water pump out of there. All right. Dang, this ain't the freezer. Look at the stain right there. This thing was leaking like crazy. And this has a rubber uh, uh, seal for the gasket, so that's cool. That is real cool. So that's all we have to do is just clean that up a little bit. All right, let's get something to clean that up and we'll be right back. All right, now we gotta clean up where this old gasket was at. Not gasket, the sealer. Now there's four ways you can do this, guys. One, you can get you a little piece of sandpaper. And you can carefully go around. And it doesn't take a lot. Get the sandpaper, get about, get about 320. That'd be good. Or, you get you a, a wire brush. And go around. It's, and they also got the tooth, the little one, little wire brush, look like a little toothbrush. You can get that and go around also. 
Number three. Get you a wire wheel brush. It works by air. And you go in there. Okay, that's number three. Or well, number four, get you a 90 degree angle surface grinder that got these little discs on it. And let's get this connected. And we're going there. And this is the method I'm going to use. So let's get that cleaned up and then we'll be right back. Alright guys, got it all nice and clean. And what I'm going to do here is hook up me a air, air blower. I'm going to clean all that out. Also, if you guys, you can use a scraper, a razor blade also. Just make sure you get everything off of there. Now we're going to take a rag. And clean it all up. And that's looking real good. That's going to seal nice. Ah. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to wait till Fisher, Fisher Auto Parts, that's what we deal with. <coughs> no matter where we are, they bring the parts to us. They are cool. And in the meantime, what we're gonna do is look at this water pump. Yeah, look at that stain right there. And we're gonna pretty much position where it's supposed to be at. And here's number one in the centers, the centers, just like that. So. When we start putting our bolts back, number one is going to be over here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and what I'm going to do is I am going to actually start putting in number one. Or oh, I might go to the, I don't want to start in the middle somewhere. I guess I could, one, two, three, four, start number five, since that's way at the top. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go with that long one when we put the new pump on to get us situated. All right, so as soon as fish you get here, we're ready to put this pump back together. Bear right back. All right, Fisher just dropped off our water pump. We got a GMB new water pump, not rebuilt, not remanufactured, nothing like that. We got a brand new pump. Look at this, guys. We still got the cake up here. Still got. It's already got the seal in it for me. Let me rip this bag open. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Let's take off this little cover right here. Even though we don't have the, the fan for this, a fan for this. Let's turn it over. Make sure you take off this, the cover. Don't try to put that on with it or you'll be in trouble. All right, let's go over here. Let's match it up to our old pump. There we go. Nice. Perfect. All right. So just like I said, we're going to start with bolt number five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Number five. Put it up there like that. You don't have to put no sealer or nothing on it. The gasket is all in place for us. This is great. So that's all we have to do. Just we're going to go by hand. Just make sure this gasket is pushed down and not coming out nowhere. All right. Yeah, because it was out a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure it's down. All right, put it back to number five. And we know number five is straight at the top. So let's lower our water pump down into place. And number five hole is right 
up there. Yeah, you know what? My battery's about to make sure this is number number five up here. No, that ain't number five. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five. Dang it. I'm on the wrong side. Ain't I? Because you know what? I started number eight down here. So, I counted up here. This is number eight. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Right here. The little one. Dang it. I almost messed up here. Okay, let's get that number one started. The number five started. All right, number five is started. Now we're just gonna position our pump and we're gonna get the rest of the bolts. All right, be right back. All right, change the batteries in my camera. Let's go back over here. And see that, I almost made a mistake. Good thing, and y'all guys didn't tell me I was just gonna stick that bolt right in there, huh? Well, a bunch of friends I got. <laughs> All right, so now we got one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna work my way back. Number four and number three are the same size. So there's five. It's number four and number three. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start them by hand. Okay. Two and one, same size. They go on this side. Two. one now we got six seven and eight six seven let me get up and start this bolt and number eight Ready to tighten this up. Let's get our air ratchet over here. Connect it. Now, what we're going to do is cross tighten it up. Watch this. Now, notice I'm just bringing that in just till it closes. And then, what I'm going to do is go across. Tight up this so that way our water pump goes on evenly then go back over And then we got the one way up under. If I can get to it. Now when I do this one, I'm gonna start tightening it up and just so I don't miss everything, I'm gonna start going in a clockwise position. So one. Two. Seven and eight. Water pump is done, water pump is in. The next thing we're gonna do, let's get our idler pulley so we can put that back on. Bear right back. Alright, we got our idler pulley. That's the front of it. A bolt with a little spacer, or washer you want to call it. And we're gonna go down here and hook that on right there. Bring that all the way in by hand. And make sure that 
pump is centered on that stud. And when I bring it in by hand, make sure it spins. All right, so we're gonna get our 15 millimeter ratchet. Uh, 15 millimeter socket, shallow, the one we had before with our three H drive ratchet. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. Perfect. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is position our, get our belt on. Let's get our belt right here. Check your belt, squeeze it. Make sure you don't see no cracks on the grooves. If you do, get you a new belt. Now what we're gonna do is set this belt on according to the diagram. Okay, that's the crankshaft. There's the alternator, there's the water pump. So let's get this down here. Okay, it's gonna go around the power steering, around the alternator. Up under the water pump. Over the AC compressor and pop off. Everything pops off. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what that's what that's what you're looking for. for everything to pop off. Bum. <laughs> here we go. Now, what I'm gonna do here is twist this belt, get this because this belt is twisted. So don't get it twisted. Up under there, comes up over here, and then, whoops, 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 whoops down here, yeah, make sure that's on, make sure it's on the screws, so make sure all those screws are lined up. Then it's gonna go over here to the tensioner. Now what I'm gonna do here is I am gonna take it off of the compressor. This is gonna take two hands now. What I'm gonna do here is take it off of the compressor and hold it, hold it with one hand. In fact, can I just show you this thing? Can I just show you? If I lay this camera down right here, give me a good angle, I'll do it. Yeah, that's good. All right, so, we'll take one hand, put it around our tensioner, and my other hand is holding it, holding the belt up. 15 millimeter. Socket again, you're gonna go tightening it up, bring it up, and you're gonna keep tightening until you can get the other end, put your other, use your other hand, and put the belt on the compressor. And of course, there, you see that? So that's all I have to do now, is put the tensioner on again, I mean, you push more of a tensioner, and put it on to make sure you get it lined up with them grooves. Very, very important. And then you're gonna go around and make sure it's all on the other grooves. All right, then once we get that on, let's take this off right now. So that's we're gonna start putting some antifreeze in there. All right, and we'll be right back. All right, we got our belt on. We pulled the pan up under here. This is the old antifreeze, looking pretty clean. Green antifreeze, and we got us a new bottle also uh, from Federated Global 5050 Pre Diluted. And we're gonna fill this up. And this is, you see this tube right here? That is a self-bleeding system. So we're gonna fill this up until we get way up there and we'll be good to go. So, let's put you in, I can put you right up here. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna show you where you're pouring the air freezer. Y'all lost your mind. I will show you the skills of being able to pour it and not spill it. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Woo! And pour it sideways. Notice I'm doing, putting it sideways because it's much easier to pour like that. All right, I'm gonna fill this system up and we'll be right back. All right, we are good to go. We filled that up. 
Let's put our cap back on. Let it run. Let the fans come on. Everything is good. This is a done job. And you know, let you let the car run for a while. Make sure you got that filled up. Let it cool down and then recheck your antifreeze, okay? Definitely want to do that. Alright. Matter of fact, let's uh let's start this up and make sure nothing flies off that we don't know about. <laughs> 133,000 miles, that's it. Alright, let's go out here. There we go. Matter of fact, we started up and our antifreeze went down already. So what we're gonna do is open this up. We're gonna fill that up. Guys, you did a nice job. A plus from Astro. Alright, let's get some antifreeze and fill this up. What do we got? Okay, it took about a, about a half a quart. Filled it back up. But again, definitely, we're gonna let this car warm up. Get nice and hot, let it cool down. We're gonna recheck the system. Looking good. Looking real good. Alright. There you go, guys and girls. So I hope this video saved you a bunch of money. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, everyone, we're all done. Today we did a water pump on a 2003 Jeep Liberty uh, 3.7. 3.7 four wheel drive, and this has 133,000 miles. That's it? That's it. That's that's all it has. This poor thing. But anyway, so if you guys have any comments or questions, you know, you can post them below in the comment section. Or you can email to me at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. That's really loud. I, I don't know if you guys can hear. There's a highway right there. But anyway, so hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time. Hey, look at the geese over there. In the green water. Welcome to People welcome to Rocky Mount. Fans. Why? The geese aren't friendly. They're not. Okay, so Are these hazelnuts? Oh, I'm looking at the geese. <laughs> oh no, they're acorns. So what the heck is that one doing? Too bad we ain't got time to sit here and hang out. Oh, hang out. Huh? Hang out with the, the geese. Can we jump the gate and go play with the geese? We could always go to the park, there's geese there. But I can go play with them right now and then you can film it if they attack me. That's true. That'll go viral. Then I'll take one and swing them around. Nah, then they'll be, they'll call it ASPC on me. <laughs> I gotta swing them around. Is, is that like duck abuse? Yeah, drag them through the water. But the other ones will still follow me. <laughs> and attack you? Yeah. All right, guys, take care.